Today I'm speaking about telling you something about the fourth fantasy in D flat major re bemolle maggiore. A lot of bemol, very difficult to be played with the altered coder and the, st and the strange the, the effect for the listener that I am playing in Do maggiore because I am half tone lower, re D flat half tone lower is C, C, Do maggiore. So I make a lot of uh, big job for playing in C, in C dur, in Do maggiore. Uh, the melody is simple, andante, but with some interesting agrément and some uh, uh, big lap, big jump intervalli. The, the melody There is some parts that are polyphonic, bass and uh, cantus. And then... All these uh, B chord, not chord, that are interesting. Sometimes there is written slowly. sometimes with this acciaccatura What can we tell about? You have to make not, it's a very few staccato. You have to try to play with a lot of air, like legato, of course you are not playing legato, but very each note touch. Then the lower note has the wonderful sound, not but And then this is, is a rule that you can follow you have to follow for all the fantasy and every time when you play a recorder you have to try to make the good sound in the lower note because otherwise this note will disappear. Um, Sometimes you can make the note from the chord, for example, in the second measure, in the second bar. There is too much note. So I make just in the second bar. And sometimes you can put some appoggiatura, but not mm, be careful because sometimes the appoggiatura is written by the author and you cannot make confusion. For example, in the middle of the first bar, this is a double appoggiatura. Became. And after. Became. So, this is very. This is a piece for traverso, not for recorder, in my opinion. And uh, it's very, you have to try to find the style a little more like the son of Bach, that from Bach, more galante, more rococo.
bar 7 there is some short melody in the I higher register and short melody just two notes in the lower it could be that was uh, that uh, Telemann changed the change the the pair the couple of notes it could be that the the first idea was I'm sorry higher lower higher lower odd the other sun the other direction but changing higher lower lower higher higher lower lower higher it's better because you have some short melody I play the last note of the bar 7 as the first note of the bar 10. Big and evident couple of sixteenth semicrome. Bar 10. In the bar 7 is not written with this legature, but I make myself this legature. I think because it's so complicated so elegant the first part of bar 7 if you finish it seems could seem a music for another composer for another period so I think it's better to continue with this uh, a little dramatic and complicated structure play again from the beginning with some abelimento. Note that I make some mordente with half tone uh, at the beginning of the bar 3. At this moment the B is flat, but I make B in a natural, si naturale. It's more strange, it's more modern, I like it very much. And in the bar 4, G. The F was natural, I make F uh, diesis. And I, I close the recorder with my left. I close this and I make the G like this, G, F, G. It's the only way, simple way to make G and F diesis. So bar nine. <laughs> 